So if you're connecting to a Rockwell Allen Bradley controller or Ethernet module or other device, gateway device, it's often useful to use the boot P DHCP tool that comes along with RS links. So uh, in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's open up the boot P software. I usually like to just search for it. So I just start typing boot and there it is. Hit enter. So it's a really simple uh, Ethernet IP commissioning tool. So first of all, normally your computer is set up for DHCP, which, so first of all, normally your computer is set up for DHCP addressing, uh, IP address. So basically that means that at home, your home or work router will assign an IP address to your computer automatically. But when you connect to PLCs directly, there's no router to give you an IP address. Therefore, you need to manually set up your computer with an IP address, and that is usually called a static IP address. And this is, you can do this in Windows 7, 8, or 10. Just search for network and sharing center. Okay, I didn't have to type the whole thing out. You might have to. And then click on adapter settings. Now most of you probably won't have this many different adapters. So you might just have one that says Wi-Fi and one that says local area connection. In my case, uh, I've got a bunch of different things going on on my computer, but if you if you have a lot of them, what you would want to look for is first you can cross off your list any of them that have a red X room because that means nothing is physically connected. So that leaves these ones that uh, show the little Cat5 Ethernet cable. Um, and these ones say enabled. These ones are disabled, so we know it's not these ones. VMware is a virtual machine software I use. I know it's not either of those. Ethernet 5 is the one in my case. So I'm using a, my laptop is a really thin machine so it doesn't even have an ethernet port so I've got a USB to ethernet adapter and it is using this adapter here so let's right click it and click properties now from here we're gonna look for internet protocol version 4 select properties or you can just double click it now I've already set this up but when you come to this you'll probably see this so it will say obtain an IP address automatically. So that's what I was saying earlier. It's set up to receive an IP address from the home router or your work router. So since we're connecting directly to a PLC, we need to set up a static IP address. So for now, let's use the IP address 192.168.13. So 192.168.1.3. Now if you hit the tab key from here, it will automatically fill in the suggested subnet mask. So from there we can just hit OK. We can leave this default gateway empty for now and hit OK. And hit OK again. Now let's open up the boot P software. Again, I'm just searching for it. Hit enter when it selects it. OK, now when yours first pops up, you might get a window like this for network settings. What it wants you to do is define your subnet and your gateway. So without getting into too much detail, let's just I just want you to set it at 255.255.255.0. And the gateway I just set mine at zeros, all zeros. You should see if you're connected to a PLC or other Rockwell Ethernet IP device, you should see something pop up here unless it's already been configured and if it says type boot P that means it's ready for us to use so basically the way this works is these boot P devices send out a signal and say hey I'm available to have my address set from a computer um, 
and so we receive that signal with this software and then we can configure it from here so if the device has already been configured it it probably won't show up in here so this would only work for devices that have not been configured yet okay so now when we're sure that this is the device that we want to connect to we can right click and add relation now let's enter an IP address that's in the same subnet as our computer so that means these first three octets need to be the same as the address we set for our computer and they were 196 or I'm sorry 192.168.1 and then the last number which needs to be different than what we set for the computer it can be anything from 1 to 254 so let's set it to be 2 select OK and now it shows up in our entered relations area now one quick note before we uh, do the last step here in boot P I've had issues in the past and actually before I was recording this lesson I had some issues where I was not able to disable the boot P of this device after setting the IP address which is the final step we have to do so I did a little research and Rockwell recommends that you disable all your other Ethernet adapters or any network adapters before attempting that so in your case you may not have all of these but I went ahead uh, and disabled all of them and that seemed to take care of the issue so now when we right click our device here in the entered relations area we want to click disable boot P DHCP it says disable boot P command successful so that's what we want to see. So now we should be able to go into RS links and there we go under our Ethernet IP driver we're now seeing our Micrologix 1100 at the IP address 192.168.1.2 so that's exactly what we wanted. So now in our RS Logix software this is RS Logix Micro Starter Lite which is not the software we're focusing on in this course but you should definitely get a copy of this because it's free and you can uh, do some cool stuff with it. This is not a demo. The actual full license for this micro starter light is free. Let's try downloading to the controller that we just set up an IP address for. So go to comms. So this is a program that I just created. Go to comms and who active go online. There it is. That's what we want to download to. I'm going to hit cancel. And there's different ways you can do this, but what I want to do is I'm just going to go here and click download. And it asks to make sure that's the, the Micrologix that we want to download to. And it is, so let's click yes. It's currently in run mode. we got to switch it to program mode to continue. It will do that automatically if we just say yes. And communication configuration is different um, than what we just set up so we're gonna say don't apply change back to run mode go online there we go and so there you go that is how you can set up Ethernet communications with most Rockwell PLCs using boot P software and then using your RS Link software and programming software to go online with that PLC.